Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I am getting through another requested video and that was to color out of one of Camelia Angelkova's newest books, if not her newest. I think this is actually her newest book. This is called 50 Spring Miniatures. Miniatures? Miniatures. I'm kind of assuming, like she did with her mandalas, she'll be coming out with each season. Um, so I'm thinking shortly she may come out with the 50 Summer Miniatures. I hope so because, oh, this book is so adorable. Very different than her other kinds of books, which are all mandalas. These are not mandalas. They are actual pictures. So I picked out this one to do. Now, of course, I am not going to get this all done in this video. Um, we'll just go for a while, see how far we get, and then I'm going to finish the rest of it off camera. You'll see it at the end of the month when I do my what I colored in the month of April video, which, my gosh, that's coming up shortly. I'm going to have to record that one probably during the week if I don't get it done this weekend. So... All right, we have, you know, one thing that always intimidated me about coloring flowers. I love coloring flowers, but it always intimidates me because I feel like I have to color them realistically, <laughs> right? I have now come to the conclusion I'm not going to worry about that. So I want to get some of uh, my beautiful coloring books out, start coloring with my colored pencils. Yes, colored pencils. <laughs> Got to get out of my color by number mode and uh, yeah, get out some of my other beautiful books that I just have been ignoring. So, before we get into coloring, I want to read today's Everyday Positive Thinking quote. This one says, Intention is a force in the universe, and everything and everyone is connected to this invisible force. This is by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. Hmm. Intention is a force in the universe. Hmm, interesting. That's really deep, isn't it? Alrighty, we'll save that for the next one. Okay, so let's get going. Now, when I looked at this, I'm like, what am I going to color all these lily of the valley? They're white. Guess what? I looked them up. They have every color under the sun for Lily of the Valley. The vast majority of them, yes, are white or very pale green at the, you know, at the base and stuff. Um, I found online though, like uh, pale colors, pale pink, pale purples, and then very bright, vivid colors, bright blue, bright green, bright yellow. I mean, you name it. Did any of you know that Lily of the Valley came in different colors? So, we're not going to leave them white. We are going to color them in. I think I'm going to use a pastel pink, pastel blue, and a pastel purple. Doesn't that sound pretty? And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here. Again, we'll see how far we get today. I'm going to use markers that I have not used in a long time. That is my Spectrum Noir Tritones. So again, I made up this handy dandy color chart. This one took me forever to create. <laughs> so um, Spectrum Noir, they came in this case, which I really like. Pardon the noise. Oh my, this is strong Velcro. Wow. All right, so I'm going to... Get the side flaps open. Holy cow. Yeah, this case won't come open if you don't want it to. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to keep the color chart up here. Let's do these. Oh, gosh. Don't forget. Don't forget. Put a piece of cardstock back behind. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll do like some pastel pink, pastel purple, and pastel blue. Because we have, well, no, we actually have four. 
What's the other pastel? Maybe a real pastel orange? There were some pastel green ones, but no, let's go with pastel orange. Okay, so let's do the pink one first. And I'm gonna use pale pink PP1. So pale pink blend. Okay, and if you're not familiar with these, these are three markers in one. I did do a review of these way back when. It was quite a while ago. And basically, you go, and it's it's along the same lines as Spectrum Noir's big set. They're originals. I think they're called classics. Um, same color numbers. Uh, you can use their inks from that to refill them. This is PP1, PP2, and PP3. So what Spectrum Noir did is in all of these markers, they picked three colors that would all blend together because typically you want at least three colors in order to do a good blend. We're not going to be blending here, but you have the lightest color on this end. Now they only have the bullet tip. So if you have a large area of color, this probably wouldn't work real good. But then you have your middle color, then you turn it around and there is your darkest color, okay? So that's how the tri blends work, again, if you're not familiar with them. So I'm going to take the lightest color and we are going to start. Get out of my way, Case. Okay, you know, no matter how big a desk is, it's just never big enough. Let me adjust my camera just a tad. Wrong way, Jose. Sorry, am I making you dizzy? And let's zoom in a tad. Okay. All right. So how are you guys? Are you all staying safe? I hope everybody's healthy and nobody is affected by all the craziness going on. We are all good here. Although Bob is still having problems, so we're waiting to hear back from the doctor. He's going to have to have his stent taken out yet again. He has gone through, gosh, how many times has he gone through this now? Like probably four or five. This one is an extra long stent because his other two got displaced. For my new subscribers, um, my boyfriend had esophageal cancer and last August had to go through surgery to have his esophagus removed. And I know, sounds weird, right? And then because his throat kept closing up, because what they do is they bring the stomach up and they make like a new esophagus. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, it kept closing up on him so he had to have a stent put in. Well, he has had nothing but problems with that. The first two, well the first one disappeared. They, they had no idea where it went. Well, they eventually found it when he had to go in the second time because the second one got misplaced, was out of place, I should say. Um, yeah, he somehow swallowed the first one. <laughs> it's like, my gosh, how can that be? Oh, I'm loving this color. Very pretty. I suppose I should have made these things in here yellow or something. Now, Lily of the Valley, you know, it kind of has a greenish tinge to them up at the end. So maybe I will put green in there. Okay, and what belongs on what stem? I think this one goes with this stem. 
So, yeah, we are now waiting because this last stent that he had put in was a permanent stent. The other ones were all made to be removed because they were hoping after his throat opened enough that they could take the stent back out. But obviously that was not going to work for him because it kept getting misplaced. So I'm going to leave that out just in case I need it. Let's go with the pale blue. True blue. We'll use true blue. Um, so, yeah, because it's a permanent one, they have to have this special tool to take it out. And evidently this tool either is very rare or something because there's none around here and I don't know who they contacted but they contacted somebody that actually has this tool to see if it could get shipped here in Wassa and that was last Monday and we still have not heard from them so it's like good heavens you know how long does it take to ship something here I told Bob I says well maybe they're using it or this is not a common procedure though so I don't know he's getting pretty disgusted though and I don't blame him he has so much pain in his chest from what we're assuming is the stent and yeah so hopefully he can have that procedure done pretty soon they don't know if they're going to put another one in or what's going to happen but i know if they don't put one in his throat's going to close back up again yeah pretty hard to eat when you <laughs> can't swallow so i guess we got to wait and see you know, I told them, I said, if they don't get back to you by Monday, you call them. I mean, you know, Bob's sitting here waiting. And in the meantime, he's in this pain. And, you know, they could at least let him know, okay, you know, we're waiting for them to get back to us or something. But they're just leaving him hanging and I don't know. Let's go with the pale orange here then. So I'm going to use, hmm, should we use coral or fair skin? Let's go with the coral. It's a very pretty color. It's a little bit darker than the fair skin, but I think it'll go good with these other two. Oh my, these other two colors. Aren't these pretty? <laughs> I like. When I did that first one, the pink one, I colored too close up to the lines and of course this ink spreads a little bit on this Amazon paper so it went out blood outside the line a little bit but not too bad with these you know fine tips there's not as much ink that comes out at one given time like brush tips or chisel tips so you can color up to the lines a little bit more. Another reason I like the fine tip or bullet tip or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I'm loving these colors together. Almost looks like Easter, huh? <laughs> no, we're past Easter. Our lawns are getting tinged with green. It is absolutely gorgeous today. Oh, I think this is the warmest. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure the weatherman said, yeah, this will be our warmest day yet this year. Which ain't saying much because we've had such a cold spring. But yeah, we're supposed to get close to 60 today. Can you believe it? 
I can't. And tomorrow it's supposed to be even a tad warmer. <laughs> so I want to get as many videos done today as possible because most of you know I can't record during the week, really, um, with babysitting and Heather coming so late. Um, again, for you new subscribers, I babysit my grandkids every day. And they're a handful. One is, he's eight months now. Maddie is three. And Jaden, because of no school right now, is 12. And he can be more of a handful than the younger two sometimes. He does have behavioral problems and ADHD and yeah yeah like I said hmm can be a handful so you put all three of them together <laughs> yes grandma's pulling her hair out okay last but not least we're going to do my favorite we're gonna do hydrangea beautiful pale purple We'll start over here. So yeah, I want to get as many recorded today because tomorrow, being in the low 60s, I want to get out in my front flower bed. I have not done anything with my hostas yet. Um, that all has to be cleaned out yet. And, um, prepare the flower bed when the annuals come out. I want to plant some flowers, some annuals in there because the whole front of the flower bed is empty. I have perennials in the back, um, bleeding hearts, and there's tulips coming up right now. And I don't know what the big middle plant <laughs> in there is can't remember the name of it, but I have four bleeding hearts, two on each side, and then this big thing in the middle that shoots up a couple of big thick stems. And the, it's not really a flower, I don't know what to call it, but it does turn red. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not describing it too well. If somebody's seen it, you, I'm sure you guys would know what it is, but... As you know, I'm not an expert on flowers. Definitely not a botanist. The clematis out back needs cleaning up. And so pretty. So yes, definitely have to get some outside work done this weekend. I was outside earlier with Bella, and oh, it smelled like spring out there. <laughs> there were some people mowing, not really mowing their lawns. They were just, you know, picking up the, ex you know, the dead grass, any leaves that were left over from last win last fall, and you know, things like that. And it just, it smelled so good. <laughs> All right, I want to do these. Let's do them. Let's do all these pink also, but a different shade. I want to do them brighter pink. So let's do them bright pink. The um, let's see, BP one, two, or three. Let's go in the middle with BP two. So yeah, we're gonna have bright pink here, and then I think I'm gonna do. Uh, bright blue in the middle. Again, I don't care what kind of flowers these are. <laughs> I was just gonna do what I want. Here's the middle color. Now, some of these might be, oh, there's some more Lily of the Valley down here. Hmm. Interesting, I wonder what, I could do them pale yellow. We'll do them pale yellow. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to be a 
little careful because these are teeny. Oh, this is a pretty pink. Does anybody else have these markers? How do you like them? Oh, I think that was meant to be part of the stem. Oh, well, it's part of the flower now. It's my coloring book. I can make it what I want. Yeah, these are going to be hard to, going to be hard to color. They're so teeny. And it wouldn't be so bad except for the lines are thin. That's why I guess I'm not a huge fan of real thin lines when I know that I'm going to be coloring them with alcohol markers. You know, even water-based markers wouldn't be so bad, but as we all know, alcohol ink can spread. So we'll do the centers yellow. Of course. Let's see, what else is going on? For me, it's kind of same thing day after day. My daughter hasn't cut my hair yet. <laughs> kind of nervous to tell you the truth. <laughs> she, uh, you know, buzzes Jaden's hair all the time, but that's easy. <laughs> Women's hair is a little bit different. Okay, let's just make these pink also. But I actually dyed my hair last night. I've been meaning to do it for months. I don't tell I don't know the last time I actually colored my hair. I think it was last summer sometime. <laughs> uh, and they didn't get I like a really pretty my hair normally brown just kind of a mousy brown and I dye them red but not a bright red you know kind of a uh, kind of a nah, I can't say strawberry blonde either because they're not that light but it's maybe I don't know super super light auburn I guess maybe kind of sort of but yeah, they didn't get near as red as I thought they were going to. I wanted a little bit more of the red, but it could be because I had that dye kit sitting there for months. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I never get around to it. So last night I thought, I'm going to do it. Had a heck of a week again, so I thought I'm going to hop in the shower after Heather picked the kids up. And I'm going to dye my hair. And that's what I did. Boy, these flowers are looking darker off camera than they're looking here. They're not quite that dark pink. Kind of. I should have maybe picked a light color rather than this. But too late now. It'll be fine. I wanted something that was really going to contrast from that. And boy, they do. <laughs> I guess for the the blue ones, I won't quite go this drastic. Okay, let's go on to the next batch. So yeah, I really want to get outside, do some things. Go out back, see how the rhubarb is doing, if anything's got to be cleaned up back there. Bob was going to get the cover off the air conditioning unit. Not that we'll need that for a while. I don't use it very much anyhow. I would much, much rather open the windows, even if it's hot out. Let the breeze come into the house, fresh air. I cannot wait until I can open the windows up, air out this house. Not that it stinks in here, but, you know, get that fresh air going through. Oh, yes. 
The only time we use the air is if it gets really hot and muggy because then it's impossible to sleep. <laughs> so then I'll turn it on, but yeah, otherwise we don't use it a whole lot. Number one, it's kind of expensive to use. And like I said, number two, I would much just much prefer having the windows open. But sometimes there is the need. <laughs> so don't use it much, but boy, central air can come in handy. Hmm, I wonder what. Okay, that's all just part of the background, and I'm not going to be doing a background on this. I don't think so, anyhow. Maybe I'll get out my pan pastels. I don't know. Hmm, I'll have to see. Probably not, because like I said, I want to I wanna get my pencils out. Oops, missed the middle in there. Way to go, Lisa. was watching the, well, not watching. I was just listening with the, you know, draft, the NFL draft going on, who the Packers were picking. Because, of course, we didn't get to pick till near the end because we had a good season last year. Sorry, non-football fans. <laughs> and we were flabbergasted when they drafted a quarterback. It's like, say what? We have Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and we have, you know, some backups to him. But, yeah, they drafted a quarterback. So that was a shock to everybody, I think. Like I said, I apologize to the non-football people, which I know are many of you. <laughs> I know there are some sports fanatics in here, though. Some of you like baseball, some like basketball. I'm not into those sports at all. Football's about the only sport. Although I was kind of following the Bucks, because um, they were having a phenomenal year, and then they had to quit because of COVID. Oh, getting a dry throat. Okay, let's do these over here. Maybe we can actually get all the flowers done. Yeah, I'm not even at a half an hour. Wow. This is going faster than I thought. I apologize. I have to really catch up on my comments. So I am going to be doing that hopefully tonight. If I don't get it to it tonight, I'm going to take the time in the morning to go through all comments. I know it's been a number of days since I've gotten to my comments. And like other color tubers have said, I mean, you know, I can't answer back to every single comment. Um, but if you see a heart, that means I have read it because I do read every single comment and I love reading through the comments. Some of you guys are just hilarious. <laughs> and you're all so, yeah, you guys make me feel good. <laughs> you're the vast majority of you are just, oh, you're so complimentary. One even said something about, I'm such a great artist, and I'm like, say what? <laughs> I am no artist. No, no, no. I do not. 
Well, I guess you call us artists, you know, colorists are artists per se, but I do very simplistic coloring. Except with pencils, and that's why I want to get my pencils out and do some blending and shading, and I have not done that in so long. I do want, and it ain't going to be this weekend now, to start recording my series. And Lord only knows how long that series is going to be. <laughs> of my entire coloring book collection along with finished pages. Last time I did my coloring book collection, which was the beginning of last year, shortly after I started my channel, it was seven parts long. And that was not showing finished pages. <laughs> No flip throughs whatsoever. I showed maybe two pages out of each book. So yeah, it was very rush, rush. And I don't want to rush through it that fast this time. So it's going to, like I said, I, I can't remember how long I made those videos. Um, I think they were, I don't know, hour, hour and a half. I don't want to go over an hour this time. Um, when I posed the question to you um, about how long you felt the video should be, uh, the vast majority of you said between a half an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, some said an hour. Um, so I think what I'm going to do anywhere between an hour, no, a half hour, yeah, an hour to two hours. Oh, I'd, I'd lose all you guys in the first 15 minutes. Anywhere between a half hour and an hour. It's all going to depend. Here comes Misty. She's going to help me color. You come in to say hi? Nah, she just saunters by. I just wanted you to see me, Mom. Um, all depends upon when there's a good break. Like if I go through my hardcover books and I get to the end of them, I'll stop, you know, if we're at a half an hour or something. Um, if I get through my color by number books and don't want to pull out anything else and, you know, we're at, you know, but by that time we're at 50 minutes. Well, okay. <laughs> I have a lot of color by number books. That's by far my biggest collection. And I do have them organized, of course. Do you expect anything else? I mean, come on, really? <laughs> so I'm going to have all of my color by number books together. And we'll go through all of them. I know it's probably going to be quite boring for those of you. I know color by number books are not for everybody. So that particular video. Yeah, some of you could uh, maybe skip. Okay, is that supposed to be like a flower bud? It is now. Or was it a leaf? Well, it's a flower bud. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's put that back. Let's do our other lily of the valley that I was going to do pale yellow. So let's do a light yellow. And should I do the lightest or the middle? No, use the middle there. That was a mistake. We'll go for the lightest. <laughs> yeah, we'll go just for a real pale, pale yellow. But using all these pale colors, boy, that really makes them pop, doesn't it? A little too much, like I said. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, I think I'm going to go, matter of fact, I think I'll do that next so I don't forget. I'm going to go in with a green and go over the top of them. And we should get all these flowers done on camera. 
then I'll just have the leaves and stuff, the the vase. Now yeah, it's more of a bowl, huh? A vase bowl. There you go. And the bow and stuff to do. Off camera. So I'll have to look at my list and see what the next requested video is. I have a ton of color and chat requests. So you'll be seeing a lot of that. Okay, is that the rest of that one? Yes, I think that's it. Okay, so now let's pick out a pretty blue. Again, I do want to go too bright. Let's do the true blue I had out that I picked, that I colored in the real pale. We'll take the darkest color out of there now. So we'll flip it around and get the dark. So it's along the same line. It's in the same marker as this real pale. But then this is the dark shade. So these two will go together. Maybe that's what I should have done now that I think of it. I could have taken like the pale purple, used that same marker and did these. Darn, or the pinks themselves. Think of it now, right? Think of it now. Now well, I'll know for next time. Oh, I love this blue. Very pretty. I always forget about using these. I really like them. Spectrum Noir ink is so nice. And they do have nice nibs on their markers. The other ones I haven't used in so long that I want to get out again are my chameleons. You know, it's not saying I have to even blend with them, but that's definitely what they're made for. But they have such, that, that fine brush tip on there is so nice to color with. And their inks are awesome too. And you know, they have refills too, so. The only problem is that fine Japanese brush nib is very sensitive. And so you push too hard with them, yeah. You're gonna have to replace that nib. So you color very, very lightly with that Japanese brush nib on the chameleons. But yeah, it colors really nice. And with it being such a fine nib, you can get into the, or fine brush tip, I should say. You can get into the teeniest of areas with that thing. So I may get them out and just straight color with them once. I don't, I've never done that. <laughs> I've always, when I have gotten them out, I've always done the blending, but I should use them more often too. So if I don't feel like blending, I guess we'll just straight color with them. So again, I'll see what's next on the list as far as a color and chat request. And yeah, maybe I can get out my chameleons. All depends, because I do have some requests. Um, like one I know that I have, it's not coming up real soon, but it is uh, coloring with marker and then putting pencil over the top. I am no expert at that, but we'll give it a shot. I think I've done it once. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Because I am a straight colorist first and foremost. And I think many of us are. And that's why I think, you know, I know at least I myself, I like channels where they straight color because, you know, we're no special artists. See, like I said before, I'm no artist. And, uh, you know, color, coloring is supposed to be relaxing. I give super huge kudos to those who can use their markers or especially the colored pencils and do all that blending and shading and taking tons of time 
all the layering and I do not layer pencils. <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not to this girl. Let's go in with the green then. No, we'll do all the yellows. Let's pick a bright yellow. Okay, citrus CT3. Yeah, we'll pick the darkest of this CT3. And we'll just put a dot in all of these. Some of them the ink spread into from the pink, but that's okay. Has anybody got any plans for the weekend? I know by the time I get this uploaded <laughs> and onto YouTube, it will be Saturday evening, but, uh, yeah, let me know if you're doing anything. Like I said, up here in the Midwest, it's absolutely gorgeous. What kind of green? Why don't I pick this citrus green? I'm going to do the hmm, light or middle. Let's go with the light. So, citrus green. One thing I really like about this is even though there's three shades, because the name's right on the end here, it's so easy to find the marker that you want. <laughs> so let's see if this even shows up. Oh yeah. I know having this green is kind of strange, but Lily of the Valley can have some uh, green shades to them, so this is going to make it kind of pukey color, though, isn't it? Nah, not really. I think better than having it all one color. Plus, sometimes, you know, the underlying color comes through on flowers anyhow so that's what I'm going with it's my story and I'm sticking to it I like how that added that instead of just the one color Okay. And I think, no, let's go with a darker green for the stems. Yeah. Go for a darker green. Put this one back. Um, let's check out the greens on the, yeah. Yeah, because I, well, that one dull green wouldn't be too bad. Let's pick a different green on this side, though. I don't want to go with that. Hmm. And I want to go with a couple different, maybe the stems we could do in this, jade green. What do you think? What do you think? Let's do it. Jade green, jade green. Okay. Oh, my markers are going to fall. Here we go. Tragedy averted. I was going to do the light, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll do the stems in this, and then we got to pick a couple shades of green out. I think I'll go with a lighter green up there, and then these just a tad darker, maybe. Oh, we'll think of it when we get there. Oh, I do not like this. No, don't want that. Let's see what the darkest looks like, because, yeah, I don't like that. See how that works. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's better. Again, my ink is 
spreading, so it's kind of hard to get in these super tiny areas. Like the tips of the leaves. And then I want to talk to you guys about something. So I'm going to do just a few of these stems. And then we're going to talk about something exciting. Going awful quiet on you and concentrating here. Oh, gotta put my my little handy dandy book away. Put it back in my drawer. Give it get it away. <laughs> We had the neatest thing happen on, what day was it? Thursday, I think. We seen a school bus go by. Bob and I looked at each other. We're like, what in the world is a, oh, that was part of the leaf, wasn't it? What in the world is a school bus doing out, you know? And then shortly after that, <laughs> Here started a whole bunch of cars going past and they were all decorated up and we're like, what in the world is going on? You know, it's like a parade going past the house. Let's start up here and come down. And yeah, a lot of them said, miss you. And you know, grade one is the best. and. Here, it was all the teachers from all the schools in town. So the high school, elementary school, I believe it was the Catholic school. All the teachers decorated up their cars in tribute to all their students. Is that not cool? And as they were going by my house, because my house sits up quite a ways from the street, and I have these huge picture windows looking out to the street. Maddie and I were up on the couch and we were watching them go by. So these people down on the street as they drove by, they could see us really easily. And so many of them waved as they were going by. It was just really neat. Maddie loved it. I, you know, after they were finally done, because there had to have been, oh my gosh, I bet you 25 cars that went by. <laughs> it was quite long. And, you know, Maddie and I were up there watching the whole thing. And it was done. I said, wasn't that neat? And she goes, yeah, so many cars. <laughs> and then she goes, what the hell? <laughs> I said, what? Did you say? I said, did you say what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> you know what she hears at home. <laughs> it's probably when mom's yelling at Jaden. What the hell? <laughs> oh my God, it was funny. You know, I didn't want her to think that she could just say that all the time, you know. So I said, oh, you're not supposed to say that. I said, little girl shouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> but it was funny. Oh, oh, my gosh. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. They never cease to amaze you, right? Okay, I'm going to just finish this stem. So where is that? Hmm. <laughs> Can't tell what is what here. This must be the leaf coming down. So this, 
What's that little bit? Oh, okay, this is the stem. This is the stem. But yet, this is coming down too. I'm confused. This is all stem. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm sure I'm wrong, but... So yeah, it's it gets kind of interesting around here sometimes. Levi's crawling all over the place. So I, every Monday or Sunday night after I get done vacuuming, I re-baby-proof the house because everything by the fireplace on the, not the mantle. Bob says it's called a harp. I don't know. Um, but it's stone. Well, looks like marble. I doubt it's real marble. Um, long ledge that runs along the length of the stone wall that the fireplace is in. And so I have things along that. Well, yeah, got to move all that. Cat scratch pad. And well, let's just finish this one. And what else does he get into? When he's crawling around, I, of course, got to pick up the cat food dish and the big water bowl. He got into the water bowl once. <laughs> yeah, and I just changed him. He was drenched from head to toe, water all over the floor. I remember Maddie did that once, too. So now instead of, because that little kid's fast. <laughs> now that he learned to crawl, although he could move pretty fast on his belly too. We figured he was going to go right from squirming on his belly to uh, walking. Because <laughs> he just was not walking, not walking. But he was getting around pretty good on his belly. Do I have any down here? Oh, yeah. I keep saying, oh, we'll finish this, we'll finish that. Anticipation. <laughs> Gotta keep you on the edge of your seats, right? All right. Now we're done with all these stems. Yeah, see, I don't know. Yeah, that's coming down for that leaf. And then, okay, got it. I got it. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Let me zoom this back out while I'm yakking at you. Let me take a drink first. Is this. Okay. Um... A while back now, I hit my 5,000 subscribers. Um, and now I'm a ways over 5,000 subscribers. And you guys, oh, it's still, it just, I don't know. Every time I get an, a new subscriber, and so it just, it blows my mind. And when I hit 5,000, I was just blown away. Totally blown away. When I started this channel, Last year, <laughs> I never dreamed I would have thousands of subscribers. You know, I thought it'd be awesome to have a few hundred. <laughs> but I hit 5,000, and I do want to thank each and every single one of you, whether you comment, whether you like, you know, the videos, if you're silent, you know, and you just like to watch them. That is great, too. Um, yeah. So, uh, as I stated a few color and chats ago, I was not going to make a separate 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And the reason for that is there are trolls out there who do searches for the word giveaway or, you know, something like that. And they'll subscribe to a channel 
enter the giveaway. Soon as the giveaway is over with, they unsubscribe. And I knew that because I could see my subscriber count after the giveaway was announced go way up. Then once the winner was announced, it went way back down. So it was obvious what these people were doing. So I no longer do a separate giveaway video. I hide them in my coloring chats. Uh, yes, I make you guys sit through the entire coloring chat, almost, <laughs> before I announce my giveaway. So yes, I wanted to do something a little special. Um, I think 5,000 subscribers is special. So I thought I would take 5,000 and I would give away a $50 Amazon gift card. So this will include my international subscribers as well as those of you in the United States. I definitely wanted to do something where I included you international subscribers. I know there are many giveaways, not just mine, but other channels too, where we have to exclude you guys because it's something that we're shipping from our houses and postage would just be astronomical to ship to even Canada, who's right north of us. It's just, yeah, it's, it's unreal. So I know that sometimes you international subscribers feel a little left out. So, um, and that's why I decided to go the e-card route so that no matter who won, whether you're here in the States or whether you're in the UK, <laughs> you can go ahead and enter this. Now, if you are new to my channel, I handle my giveaways a little bit differently when, uh, in regard to how I pick my winner. I have a website that I go to um, where you can uh, put in a keyword and it'll only draw from the comments of your video that contains this keyword to automatically pick a winner. It's so much easier for me because I don't have to keep track of all of your names saying, okay, you entered and you entered, and you, you know, and maybe assign a number to each one of you guys. It's just, that's a lot, a lot of work. So I decided to go this route. So every time I do a giveaway, I come up with a keyword that you guys will enter in your comment on this video. All right. If you don't want to enter the video or don't want to enter the giveaway, but you still want to leave a comment, don't mention this keyword. In order to be eligible for the giveaway, you must be a subscriber and you must like this video. You have to be 18 years or older in order to enter this contest. So, what are we going to use for a keyword? <laughs> Haven't really thought about this. Um, you know, I've said thank you and I am so grateful. I like to use a simple keyword that, you know, maybe five, six letters long. Um, I don't ever use multiple words, nothing like that. So I think what we're going to use is just the word color. And it is the United States version, C-O-L-O-R. So if you want to enter the giveaway for the $50 um, gift card to Amazon, in your comment somewhere include the word color, okay? Now, today is Saturday. I typically run my giveaways for a week. So, um, I am going to run the giveaway until next Friday at midnight, okay? Midnight Central Standard Time. And then Saturday, because I typically do all my recordings on Saturday, next Saturday, I will pick a winner. All right. Um, 
I think what I will do, again, rather than doing a separate video, I will announce in my color and chat, because every Saturday I do a color and chat, I will announce in that color and chat next Saturday who the winner is. Okay, so if you're entering this giveaway, make sure you watch next Saturday's color and chat because the winner will be announced within that video. All right, if anybody has any questions on any of this, because like I said, I, I know I hold my giveaways a little bit differently than everybody else. So if any of this is confusing to anybody, I think I explained it well enough. But uh, if you do have any questions on anything, leave it in the comments below. And I will answer any question to the best of my ability. Okay? All right. Big announcements out of the way. Good luck, everybody. I know, you know, it's, I think, kind of a nice giveaway because it's not necessarily... Um, some books that maybe you're not interested in or, you know, eh, I don't want to enter that giveaway. Um, I think a gift card um, is something everybody could use. And with it being on Amazon, you wouldn't even have to purchase anything coloring related. You can purchase anything you want off of Amazon. So, all right. Enough of that. Let's go on to these leaves. And I'm going to do these lighter green. And then, like I said, those a darker green. So, she, yeah, let's do these a little pale. So I'm going to go back to that dull green. I think I'm going to use the middle shade. Dull green, too. Okay, so mid. We'll see if this is going to be dark enough or if I have to go to the dark. Oh, let's zoom back in. And yeah, that's a little close. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did also want to mention to the individual who said that this bothered them, the sound, I apologize, but I do have to keep it on. I had a tendency when I took it off, I forgot, I always forgot to put it back on. And I would hate to, you know, at that time, I probably would, you know, get in an accident and be rendered unconscious and I needed to have this on. So most of you, you said, you know, after the comment on that video that this doesn't bother you at all. One of you even said you like the jingling sound of it. So, again, I apologize to the individual who said it bothers you. Um, but, yeah, I am going to have to keep it on. <laughs> all right. Let's get I You know, and I never even noticed that it made any noise until this person said that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. But yeah, it just it's it's just another thing to have to remember and there's a lot of stuff to remember when I set up for a recording the way it is and uh, yeah. Cuz I can't leave anything set up on my desk for recording because of the kids. So, yeah. Oh, I do like this shade. I'm glad I didn't go with the dark. I think this looks good. Just, just the right shade. So we'll finish the leaves up. And then we will call it good. And I will finish this off on camera. Um, yeah, today now is the 25th. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Mm, my end of the month videos. Is there 30 or 31 days this month? I didn't even look. Um, my end of the month videos may be coming out, not at the end of the month, but the beginning of May. All depends upon when the first falls on. Is that next Friday? Let's see, 25, 26, 30. Well, the 30th is on Friday. So Depending, yeah, if there's 30 or 31. I'll have to look at the calendar when I'm done with this. 
and C. If the 31st is on a Saturday, that would be perfect. That would work out great. Otherwise, I'll be recording it on the 1st. I never can remember how many how many months, yeah. <laughs> how many days there are in each month. I know February is 28, except for this year. But, yeah. Oh, I like the color of these leaves. Okay, this must all be leaf. Don't you hate that when you can't determine what's what in a book? I find that happens to me in Jade Summers' books, especially in the grayscale. It's like, okay, what what did they mean here? <laughs> you know, how do I interp interpret yeah, interpret what goes where? So sometimes you just gotta you just gotta guess. And in the grand scheme of things, many times it doesn't matter. Not when you're looking at the picture as a whole. But, yeah, it gets, okay, does this go with that? What is that? Or am I the only one that does that? <laughs> Sometimes if you're, you know, if you're looking at it real close up, it's hard to determine, but... Sometimes even when you hold the book farther away from you, it's still like, okay, I still don't understand what that is. So that's kind of here. I'm trying to determine what is leaf, what is stem, what is background. And I'm sure Camellia knows exactly what is what. But seeing as how I can't read her mind... And she's not here to ask. <laughs> you just kind of guess. It'll be fine. Boy, I got a lot farther on here than I thought I was going to. All I got to do on my own off camera is going to be the basket. Wow. I didn't even think I'd get through all the flowers. I don't even know if Bob's in the house or if he's outside doing something. So nice out that should get outside and do something. I'll be spending today inside recording and then editing and getting everything up on YouTube. Now there's some more that went outside the lines. Darn it all. Okay. The kids are getting desperate for finding stuff to do, especially um, Jaden's only allowed on electronics for like three hours out of the day that he, you know, whenever he's here. So he gets totally bored when he's off electronics and gets impossible to be around. And of course, anything grandma suggests for him to do, I don't want to do that, you know, kids. Um, is that all of those? Oh, that's right. I had to do the rest of that stem. Why didn't you tell me that? Now, did I do the... Yeah, I did the darkest. Short memory. Um, so, yeah, they are getting stir-crazy, and I can't wait for them to be able to get outside and play. But, uh, what is that right there? What is it? Sorry, I got my book cockeyed on you guys, don't I? Oh, that's part of the bowl. Okay. Got it. I got it. 
All right, now we got to pick a darker green for down here, and I kind of want an olivey green. Nah, maybe not. Well, there is a yellow green. If I use the, because if I use the mid shade, that's going to be real similar to this. So I don't know if I should go with this. Hmm. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Oh, I'm so undecided. I want it to be, you know, different than this. Hmm. I know what color I'm looking for. I just don't see it on here. Let's go with the dark alpine green. Maybe that'll be different enough because this is the jade green. So we'll try that. Alpine green blend. Get the darkest. And then that'll be it for this color and chat. So yeah, I was talking about the kids going stir crazy. Well, they got into playing hide and seek which is great. Maddie absolutely loves it because she loves playing with her big brother. So whenever Jaden hid, then I would have Maddie come in my lap or, you know, lean into my lap. I'd cover her eyes and I'd help her count. And, you know, then she'd have to go find Jaden. Well, they started wanting to go and hide in the basement, which, you know, I told Jaden, as long as you don't make a mess down there, because the first time he was down there and I went down to, I have some of my coloring supplies boxed up and I had them in the garage because I didn't think it was going to take this long to sell the house. Whole nother subject. Um, but, uh, yeah, so he had some of my boxes and stuff moved and a desk down there. He must have been trying to hide behind. And so I said, yeah, you know, just make sure lights get turned out. And um, yeah, okay, you know, don't mess anything up. And uh, so <laughs> yesterday they were playing hide and seek. And they decided to put the cats down there. And they were going to play hide and seek with the cats. <laughs> they put the cats down there, came up the steps, waited a few minutes, went back down, <laughs> and looked for the cats. It was hilarious. They could not find Misty. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she appeared. And uh, Manny goes, she a good hider. <laughs> I said, yeah. So that was funny. But yeah, they're they're going stir crazy. So it'll be so nice when they can get outside. Unfortunately, they, especially poor Maddie, can't go over to the playground yet, and she. Like I said, really can't understand it. I try to explain it to her as best I can. But... Oh, I didn't tell you guys, or did I? Last color in chat. I would have had an offer on the house. Finally. But, so that was the good news. Now the bad news. Their bank. Oh, let me take a drink. Their bank or credit union, whoever they're going through, cannot give them a pre-approval letter until this stay at home is lifted and they're back to work. I'm like, oh, I just can't win. Because, yeah, they wanted to put an offer in. I don't know what that offer was, but... So they said, well, you know, keep us in mind, you know, if I have, it would be nice to know, you know, what their profession is. 
you know, whether they may be one of the first to be able to go back to work, because I know in some of the other states, some workers are getting allowed, you know, to go back. We have not been allowed to let anybody back to work. But I found out through my daughter that one of the county representatives, four counties out of the state of Wisconsin, they're ignoring our governor and they are all going back to work. Yeah, eh, I don't think that's such a good idea. State of Wisconsin alone, between Thursday and Friday, we had 304 new cases. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, nether drink. Oh, I get this tickle in my throat when I talk for a while. But yeah, with that many cases, I know we've had a lot of protests. <coughs> my tickle won't go away. About Evers extending this till the end of May. But you got to be safe, you know. You don't want people getting sick. So, I don't know. Anyhow, how did I get on that subject? Oh, would have been able to sell my house. So, it is almost done except for the basket, but I am a minute and 16 in a minute. <laughs> Boy, I do color fast, don't I? I am an hour and 16 minutes in, so and I have a number of other videos to record. And it's getting to be later afternoon already. So yeah, I'm just going to do the basket and the bowl off camera and you will. That should be green. <laughs> Which green did I use? The mid one? Tell me quick. Yeah, this. Yep, I used mid. But if this leaf is coming down... This should probably be green too. Okay, sorry guys. This would all be green then, wouldn't it? Otherwise the leaf is just kind of hanging in midair. Okay, does that look better? I just noticed that I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, so anyhow, um, yeah, I I hope you like this. You like the pastel -y. the the coral and the pink look real similar, so I'm glad I didn't put them together next to each other. But I love the five pastel colors. I think that is so cool. So yeah, look online and look for Lily of the Valley photos. See if you find some where there are multiple colors and then all kinds of bright, vibrant colors. I was just floored. So that made this easy because I didn't want to just leave them all white. How Boring. So then I thought I'd make them light gray, but eh. Anyhow, okay. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up for me. It really does help the channel. And subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Oh, and by the way, I'll link this book down below in case you want to look at it. So yeah, I hope you're all having a great day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.